time management can mean different things for different people it could be as simple as running your business more productively or running your home without feeling stressed and along with that doing things that you love to do for the past few weeks i've been sharing with you various aspects of time management and my intention here is that you get enough knowledge that you can adapt and create your own foolproof plan so that you can optimize your time today i want to bus few time management myths as i conclude this series let's get started if you're here for the first time thank you for stopping by my name is aparna i'm a certified coach and every week i share tips tricks tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life and if this interests you do consider subscribing to my channel and while you're there do not forget to press the bell icon so you're notified every thursday when i post a new video and if you're a returning viewer warm welcome to you as well i hope you're enjoying the theme of managing your time effectively and the videos i've posted in it so far if you have any questions for me or suggestions do leave it in the comment section below All right managing time or time management can be overwhelming to few only because there are a lot of myths that are surrounding it and today i want to share three of the most common myths with you the first myth that i come across very frequently is planning is a waste of time the truth is it's actually the opposite knowing how you should spend your time and what you should be spending your time on first is the first step towards effective time management begin by clarifying your priorities remember i spoke about the eisenhower box or eisenhower matrix in my previous video start using it and you will immediately find that you are able to use your time more effectively the second myth that i come across most frequently is that i need to account every second of my time Like I said before, time management can mean different things for you and me. However, the truth is that if you can plan about 75% of your day and leave the rest to absorb any overflow, it will help you perform better. So no, you don't have to account to every second of your time. Another frequent myth that I come across frequently, especially from the younger generation, is the busier I am, the more I'm getting done. Ever heard of an expression the busy fool? Being busy all the time does not mean that you're being productive. Stephen Covey talks about the activity trap in his book The 7 Habits of Highly Effective People. He quotes, "In the busyness of life, to work harder and harder at climbing the ladder of success only to discover it's leaning against the wrong wall." Now what? Being busy does not mean better work. So those are the three myths I wanted to talk to you about that I get asked quite frequently. Now remember, time management should not squeeze you like a tube of toothpaste. It should give you more energy and more time so that you can do what you wanted to do. So be very about these big concepts but understand how you can manage your time well. I'd like to conclude with this quote. If you have any questions for me do leave it in the comment section below or reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in and if you like this video if you find this video resourceful do hit a like button share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel subscribe and also hit the bell button so you're notified every week when I post a new video thank you so very much for watching i'll see you next time